Hello YouTube viewers, welcome back. This is me Hasan Salim. So today we're gonna learn about the very important topic. We will discuss about object data type. So for that purpose, let me create a new project. Okay. Here I define one button. Now First of all, let me illuminate what is object data type actually. For that purpose, if I declare int x is equal to 5, definitely there is no error. If I declare int y is equal to 1, now definitely there is an error. The error is the documentation cache the documentation cache is still being constructed please try again in a few seconds cannot implicitly convert type string to int this is an integer variable and i am trying to storing string in the integer which is impossible so for that purpose i can i can use object data type object data type is allow you to store any kind of variable any kind of data in a, a variable if i declare object o okay is equal to 5 there is no error now o is equal to Here you can see I am storing, first of all, I am storing an integer value, a string value, a float value and a character type value in a same variable which allow me to store any kind of value. To understand it more clearly, I create an object array. Let's create an object array. I named it object array is equal to new object here you can see Here you can see in the same array I am st storing first string, second is integer, third is float and the fourth one is character value. If I want, let me make it comment because we don't need that anymore. Now I am using for each loop to get element one by one in a message box here I also define object data type now what I need to do I just want to show the R value into message box. Now let's start it. Whenever I click on button, here you can see the first element is name, the second one is integer 100, the third one is 23, 
which was float value because of dot zero dot zero it just rounded and forget about zero and head is an a which is an which is an character in the similar way we can also define list of object so let's list of object So let's change our program a little bit to change our program. I declare, uh, let me draw the where it is. Text box. What I want that whenever I will here I draw another button I named it add value sorry here I need to change add value Here I named it add value and here I named it show values. What I need what I gonna do? I just want that whenever what 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 a type of value I write in read in that it should be stored to the uh, list and whenever I click on that it show all of the elements in the list so let's make it comment we don't need it anymore all right now for that purpose let's go to add value what I want object list object dot add text box one dot text will be added to that and whenever I click on that it should show me all of the element now It will show me one, uh, each of the value one by one. So let's start it. Here there is no value that's why now I add one value. Here is I type another value. Now it will show you all of the values stored in that particular array basically the main the main purpose of this tutorial is to define you what is the basically object data types purpose is and hope I am successfully tell you describe you what's the basically purpose is it allow allows you to store any kind of any kind of value in the same object object variable or a one array 
but we didn't use this in the larger projects because it need to do boxing and boxing and unboxing what is boxing boxing is basically the conversion of the value type to an object type and the unboxing is object type to value type conversion so in the larger projects we do not use object data type we use generics and the next uh, in the next further tutorials we will talk about what is generics and what is the purpose of generics so hope you understand what is the basic purpose of object so don't forget to subscribe stay tuned and wait for the other tutorials thank you